All right, so you may be asking yourself the question, why are there so many chickens buck bucking? You're probably asking yourself, John, what the heck is that platform doing on top of those trees? And I'll tell you, it's gonna be the base for our new peafowl house. So, we had been working on this uh, this past weekend, uh, and we planned it out. I'm gonna do some finishing up things now, and then I'm gonna show you how we built it. So I showed you in our last video on Monday how we were planning it, and in this video, I'll show you how we're gonna build it. Let's get to work. Today, it's a very exciting day. We are beginning work building our peacock house. Woo! Or the pea house, as it is affectionately known around here. So I've set up Catherine to cut out the framing for the sides, and then I'm gonna be putting the floor together, and then we're gonna bring it down and uh, start getting it together. Let's get to work. Show me the butt. <laughs> You're only wiggling one cheek. That's all you do! <laughs> so what we've done so far, we have three of the four walls totally framed, and this last one is the one with the French doors, uh, which can tend to be kind of complicated, but luckily we got the entire door frame that came with it watched our How to Build a Greenhouse video, you know I had some trouble with the French doors on there because I basically made the frame from scratch. So I'm pretty happy with where we're at so far. So I wanted to make sure, uh, so, it's, so we set the outside studs and then I left, so there's two cripple studs on either side which hold up the header, which again that makes sure that uh, you know all the weight is properly distributed. So we just kind of set them in there, put the frame in there, it fits pretty tight. So once we get the cripple studs in there good, it'll be ready to go. And this way we're sure that it'll fit when we get down and build. Peanut. Let's keep going. All right, so we got our floor frame down here. This is the set of trees that it's gonna be sitting on. Um, it ended up being bigger than what we thought, so we did tw uh, 10 feet wide, uh, 10 feet long. <sighs> so it's gonna be a little bit bigger. So we're gonna add plenty of supports here. We're gonna have big supports that I'm gonna use the chainsaw to do a bore cut on the bottom that come out all the way to the outside edges, as well as probably some you know, smaller brackets in between, just to make sure it's nice and secure. So, what I'm gonna do now is I need to level this all out. And so what I have here is I got my little laser level. And so this will be good, because it shoots out a little laser beam. <laughs> um, and so I'll be able to not only mark the tree better, but I'll be able to carry that mark more easily across all of the trees. Uh, so I'm gonna get going on that, and I'll see you in a bit. This doesn't seem to really be working. I'm gonna go grab a regular level.
All right, that looks pretty good. Gonna grab my chainsaw and get to cutting. All right, so that's pretty good. Going the opposite way, it's a little more rough, but uh, you know we can shim it to make it level. I think actually I'll need to cut this one down a bit because that's actually really high compared to this one. So as you can see, so I'm I'm just swinging this level around so that's really good that one's a little low so we can shim it this one is a little bit high so maybe I'll just take it's really just that one side so maybe I'll see if I can cut like half of that one off <sighs> all right well, I had this gambrel and pulley system that I was hoping would help us get this up there, because this sucker is heavy. But, uh, you know, this thing is, allegedly you're able to lift 400 pounds. I don't know if this weighs more than that or what, but, uh, Maybe we'll just need to use the actual forks instead of something like this in order to get it up. So maybe, maybe what I'll do is just come over here with the tractor, lift it up on this end, and then just kind of back it down till I can sort of turn it and get it over there. We'll have to see. Okay, so I actually have to hurry because I just noticed that this is getting a little bit messed up here. Uh, but so I was able to get this chained up and I was going to, you know, I think I still am. That'll be okay. So I'm gonna put, I have two two by fours over here somewhere. I'm gonna just sort of put them on top so I have some skids that'll just give me uh, you know, some room to put this thing and uh, I'll do that quickly. Okay, so it is up there now. That actually works really well. I'm pretty proud of myself. So this is not gonna be its final resting place. I think, we're gonna I think we're gonna turn it so that it's basically facing this way, which is east. So that far left corner is gonna come up closer. This one right here is gonna get pushed back. But overall, I've, Jesus, this thing is freaking gigantic. You know, it's one thing to plan it on paper. It's another thing to actually get it up there. But this is going to be so cool. And maybe we'll even give it some legs. We'll have to see. So I think next I'm just going to kind of move it around, see where it needs to go. And uh, yeah, cool.
I'm now up here at the top. It is looking pretty good, so now I'm going to go and uh, secure these joists down. And then we should really be good to go and start putting plywood down. I am excited. All right, everybody, so we are pretty much done with the platform here. It uh, came out really well. As you can see, we're pretty high up. <laughs> so I ended up using two layers of plywood because the plywood that I had on hand was only uh, 3 eighths of an inch. So this way, using two layers, and then I, bas I basically overlapped the seams. So the first layer, I had the big, plywood pieces running this way and the second layer I had them running this way so that there's no matched seams makes it much stronger all good so I was hoping to get a little bit more done than I did today but honestly this is coming out really cool so uh, next up I'm gonna be bringing the framing up here and then we'll put the roof on it, or we'll put the roof rafters on it, then we'll put the walls up. So anyway, that's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you guys very much for watching me build the platform. <laughs> we really appreciate it. Please give this video a like, leave us a comment, let us know what you think, and as always, please subscribe. If you wanna watch the video where we first started planning for Peacocks, you can check it out right here. And thanks for watching.